Hello everyone, my name is Moore Chatterjee and uh, I'm one half of Chatterjee and Lal, a gallery for contemporary art and historical material based in South Bombay. And like everybody else, we've been stuck at home the last couple of weeks. Uh, however, art never stops. And so we've given ourselves the opportunity to think about the exhibitions we've had over the last couple of years, as well as to plan the programming for the next year or so. In addition, we've thought about those artists with whom we've intellectually engaged over the last 20 years or so. And tonight I'd like to talk to you about an incident in the life of one of those artists, Ravi Varma, perhaps the greatest painter of the late 19th century. And it's a period between 1896 and 1905 when the bubonic plague ripped through Bombay, affecting lives and livelihoods of so many. Two years prior to that, Ravi Varma, along with his brother Raja Raja Varma, had gone into business with Govardhan Das to create the Ravi Varma lithographic press. And that press was basically engineered to create oleographs the like of which you see behind me. It was the first time that mass market high quality prints were to be produced to be placed then into the private shrines of people throughout the country. Ravi Varma was already a well-known figure and painter at that time and he was the perfect person to create an aesthetic that would find resonance throughout uh, the nation. Sadly, of course, within two years of setting up the business, the plague had started to take, take hold in Bombay. And the site where they had initially uh, set up the press in Girgaum Chopati, very close to where I'm speaking to you uh, from tonight, was stricken by the plague to the extent that it became unviable for the press to remain in situ. So it was by 1898, the site of the press was moved to the periphery of Bombay, to Ghatkopar. From the very outset of the press, Ravi Varma was keen to have the best technical expertise attached to the business. And so he looked to German excellence in setting up the entity. Not only did he get his technology, the printing presses from Germany, but also he brought over two technicians from the country, P. Gerhardt and Fritz Schleicher. And it seems that Fritz Schleicher from the very beginning was an incredibly driven person. You must understand by 1898, play had been around in the city for two years, business was not great, distribution would have suffered tremendously. Raja Raja Varma in his diaries of the period makes it clear that they had built up significant debts. However, Schleicher took hold of the situation bought out Ravi Varma and his brother from the press and moved the press even further out of the city to Malavli, a hill station near Lonavla. And between 1901 and 1935, built up the most successful picture printing press that India has ever seen. What remains so extraordinary is that you, at that time in 1899, when Schleicher initially went to the Ravi Varma brothers and suggested buying them out. You couldn't even move through the city freely. There were checkpoints much as they are today. Doctors who would take your pulse, check your, check your temperature every time you wanted to move from the city outwards. It was a time of great uncertainty and yet Schleicher at that moment of adversity not only decided to keep the company together, he actually expanded it. Soon it would be the case that the Ravi Varma imagery would be seen across advertisements, not only in India, but internationally as well. It was really a case of seeing an opportunity and running with it. And so for me, at this time of uncertainty, I see a wonderful parable that perhaps we can all hold on to at this moment. So with that, I'd like to say, Thanks for listening to my ramblings and hope that we get to meet in person before too long. Thanks so much and goodbye.